Jumpy jump jump jump. We have to carry everything home. And I'll tell you, these eggs are heavy. They must be large. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what a good idea. Pit stop. Little help here, thank you. Not that kind of help. I could have done that. Do you know what we need? A little self-awareness? No. A car! I mean, why does Quigley always get to drive the car? Cause it's his. What we need is a car! What we need is to get home before dark. Hey, where are the eggs? And why is my tushy all wet and squishy? So you see, since we can't fly our brooms during the day, we've just gotta have a car. And this isn't about us. This is really about you. Think about all the help we could be with the car. She's right. Like grocery shopping, driving Sabrina to the mall, picking her up from soccer practice, and washing said car. Yup, you heard it right. We'd even wash it. Well, if it means that much to you, sure, I'll let you have one. We got a car. We got a car. We got a car. <laughs> as long as you pay for it yourself. Huh? Say what? Did you say pay, as in buy, as in tender monies? That's impossible. Our allowance barely covers our clothes shopping. Out of my way, people! Get me the phone! <laughs> for the love of whiskers, for all that is feline, not no! And I was like, yes, and he was like, no, and I was like, yes, and he was like... She'll, like, call you back. Hey, that was an important call. We were talking about important stuff. This is a matter of life and death. We're looking for the person who knows the answer to today's trivia torture question. A radio contest? Life or death? Zip it, sister. I've dialed wrong numbers that were more important calls than the one you were on. And besides, I never won anything in my life. And they finally asked a question I know. It's ringing. <laughs> Let's go to the phones and find our lucky winner. Hello, you're on the air. Me? Yes, you. Do you know the answer to today's stumper? Yes. The answer is the pancreas of a pot-bellied pig. Did I win? Did I win? That is correct. You are the grand prize winner. I won! I won something! <laughs> yeah! The deluxe list of prizes you've won. A 10-year supply of chocolates. 10,000 CDs from Artie's House of Compact Discs. 600 pounds of Limburger cheese. Woohoo! Eh. And last but not least, you've won the Deluxe XR9000 with built-in deluxe capacitor and Q-Wave inhibitor. <laughs> yes! Do you have any idea what that is? <laughs> Not one clue, but I don't care. It's got a capacitor. The XR9000 is a movie camcorder. A movie camcorder? I've always wanted a camcorder. Since when? Since I won it. I won! I won! I won! And now all you have to do is come down to the station and claim your prizes. Gah. What's wrong? Uh, other than the fur, the claws, the four paws, the tail, and the eating face first out of a bowl, nothing. Come on, wake up and smell the kitty litter. They're not gonna give the prizes to a cat. So, winner, do you have a name? My, my name? My name is Sabrina Spellman. Salem! All you have to do is go in my place and claim the prizes, please. Sabrina? Huh, you have a deep voice for a Sabrina. That's, that's, um, I, I got a touch of the croup. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that. A little phlegm. If you think your allowance isn't enough, you're going to need to find another way to get money. Fine. So, how does one procure money? We could win the lottery. Good, that's good. Or we could rent ourselves out for scientific experiments. Good, little risky. But you're thinking I like that. Let me try this again. Why don't you get jobs? <laughs> Why? 
what? You don't think we can work? Yeah. It's not like we've never worked before, you know. Believe it or not, we were once hired by the King of Troy to help Interior decorate his fortress. Wow, what a find! This will be just a dazzling centerpiece in the living room. We were even once hired to help launch cruise ships out to sea. <gasps> Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. Bon voyage now. With our experience, we'll be fighting back offers. Come back when you've got some years under your belt. What's he saying? We've got 300 years under our belts, but our bodies are 16. Oh, do you think that's gonna be a problem? There has to be some place a 16-year-old can get a job. Welcome to Sir Munchalot's, where every customer is king. As the newest peasants in the Munchalot kingdom, you are riffraff, rabble, and rubbish. Excuse me, Alvin? Sir, Alvin. I didn't spend six months at the fry station so you could call me Alvin. Sorry, Sir Alvin. Do you have something in the back that's a bit more flattering? Perhaps something in fuchsia? Maybe strapless? Silence! As peasants under the rule of Sir Munchalot, ye must heed a few simple rules. Chapter one, no reading. You just broke the first rule, thou plebeian trash. One demerit. <laughs> What's all the hoopla? Who cares? Let's just get my prizes and get out of here. There's our winner. <laughs> winner of the Trivia Torture Contest. I'd just like to thank the little people. Uh, I, uh, I'd just like to thank the little people? What a great line. Now, how about a photo for our publicity department? Publicity? Absolutely tootly. Since you're our one millionth winner, we're gonna make you a star. Let's just get this yeah. warp rat out of the way. Dirty food trays. You know what to do. Actually, we don't. I'm drawing a blank here. Wash, clean, scrub. Yuck, don't you have people that do this? Yes, you. <laughs> Remind me again why we got this job. Cha-ching! Cash, money, enough to buy a car. Right. Some magical help. One special super sun spell coming up. We can't do a spell here. Why not? If Alvin catches us, it's off with our heads. Or even worse, we lose our jobs. Besides, hard work is the foundation of this great nation. A little hard work never hurt anyone. There's a first time for everything. Here, grab a sponge. That's not a sponge. It's a rat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Bathroom. I'll be right back. Trays, they've been taken care of. Hilda, if you don't do this job right, we're gonna get in trouble. Excellent work. We are pleased. You're needed in the toddler playland. <laughs> we have to find what? A lost pacifier. I'm going in. Scraped 
have most of the flesh on my kneecaps, but I got it. There you go, little feller. Excellent work, Peasant Hilda. I smell promotion. Ah. Uh. What happened to you? We worked. Work, I'll tell you, is a lot of work. Uh, perhaps that's why it's called work. But we wanted to do this for much longer. As soon as we get the money for our 275XE convertible, our vocation is gonna be a vacation. <sighs> but cars are expensive, especially convertibles. It doesn't have to be a convertible. Then there's the cost of gas, insurance, not to mention tune-ups, oil, antifreeze, transmission fluid. Well, a clunker car is better than no car. That's right. And if we have to have lousy jobs, I'm glad I can be there with you. We can do it together. Hilda, I could use some help. I'm handing the potatoes to you as fast as I can. Hey, yay, hey, yay. A proclamation by His Majesty Lord of Dinner Shift, Sir Alvan. Good work at Sir Munchalot's doth not go unnoticed. We have a new peasant amongst us who, by her virtuous hard work and dedication, has proven to be an exemplary employee. Ah, oh, shucks. Therefore, I proclaim a promotion to Archduchess to Hilda <gasps> Spellman. <gasps> By the power of procedural article two, I dub thee Hilda, Archduchess of Poultry. This is perhaps the greatest moment of my life. It's not fair. I did all the work and she gets the promotion. Tell me about it. I'm here nine years. I'm still the new guy. A 10 year supply of chocolate? I'm in heaven. Oh look, great spots. What is it? Mint flavoring? <laughs> no, mold flavoring. Blech. Yuck. Disgusting. Well, we can always give them away at Halloween. Hey, Quig, have a CD on me. Don't Jack My Yak by Sherpa Ice, a Tibetan rap compilation. Hmm. Well, there's bound to be a few lemons. They're all the same. All 10,000 of them. <laughs> No matter, I've got the XR9000 with Q-Wave inhibitor, and no one can take that away from me. Hey, Sabrina. Cool. The XR9000. Sabrina, you winning the trivia torture is the coolest thing ever. Well, I was lucky. Thanks. How about going to the park and taping my skateboard stunts? What do you say? Well, I should ask first. To use your own camcorder? My camcorder? Of course it's my camcorder. Uh, a cat winning a radio contest would be silly. So let's roll. Right behind you. What was I supposed to say? Well, okay, but be back in an hour. I want to tape the hot little white Siamese on her morning walk. Wampa. You're the best. Yes, my lord. That's two rancid rib roasts, two medieval malts, and a lad and lassie lucky meal. Does this come with a toy? Oh, yes, of course. Be careful with that. Don't let him put it in his mouth. Unacceptable. Do you mock me? You didn't offer a side of gruel. Upsell, upsell, upsell. You get one demerit. Good catch, Archduchess Hilda. It's the attention to detail that makes her your superior. She promised she'd be back in an hour, so if she were to walk in now, she'd only be four hours late. She used to be my best friend. Some, Some friend. friend. Chocolate? Taking out the garbage? Nope. It's my money. Wow. Huh? Aren't promotions great? Not only do I get to give people orders, I make more money. Looks like we're close to getting that car. You know, I've been thinking. Since I'm making more money, technically, the car should be more mine. Instead of 50-50, it should be 80-20. What do you think? Make that 90-10. Hey, Aunt Zelda, wave. If I do, Archduchess shrieks a lot will probably send me to the gallows. Archduchess Hilda, I must leave this fair kingdom and journey forth to my orthodontist. 
Tis time for my weekly tightening. I leave this kingdom in your competent hands. I won't disappoint you, sire. Now that I'm in charge, I get to carry the scepter. Oh good, I've got the two of you together. Hilda, there's more to being a boss than carrying the scepter. I know that. There's also bossing people around. And I'm not gonna be able to take it easy on you anymore. Easy? Let's face it, Zelda, you're not quite munch -a lot material, are you? You know, you're right. I quit! You can't quit because I fire you. Well, I can see you two are busy. I'll just uh, mosey on over here and oh, would you look at the time. Bye-bye. Fine, fire me. I'm sick and tired of doing all the work while you take all the credit anyway. Do I sense a little jealousy? Let me ask you something, Hilda. Whatever happened to, I'm glad I can be there with you and we can do it together. Well, you're going to do it alone. And I'm gonna hang around and watch to see how the grand pooba of poultry gets on without me. Ten years supply of chocolates. Ha! I say ha! More like one day. That's right, cats and kittens. Our own trivia torture winner, Sabrina Spellman, huh? is going to have her very own billboard. Oh! Will life's cruelties ever end? <laughs> Chocolate. You! It's two pickles per burger, not three. Two demerits. You! Give me that! Taste test! Oh! You call that a milkshake? No, I call it the excess grease from the grill. Fine! Carry on! And you? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> e eating? I'm, I'm a customer. I'll let you off this time, but chew with your mouth closed. Where do you think you're going? You're worse than Alvin. We quit. Okay, fine. Two, no, three. Three demerits for all of you. Wait, no, eight. <laughs> eight demerits. 63. Now get back here. Okay, people, let's look alive. <laughs> I can run this place by myself. After all, that's what I was doing anyway. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Sir Munchalot, where every customer is king. Save it for the training video, lady. Give me a large feudal fries. KWMS is proud to honor our trivia torture winner, Sabrina Spellman. Yeah. Hey, it's big, fine, foxy, far out, fantastic, fine, feminine, female Sabrina. She's Whoa, your picture on a billboard? You're like more famous than graham crackers. I hope they got my good side. What's wrong? I can't believe they used that picture. I've got to zit the size of Cleveland. I can't let people see me like that. Picture billboard up in the sky. Make the winner's picture the prettiest on high. There, that should do it. Okay, it's time. KWMS is proud to present... A cat. Hey, that looks like your cat. The winner. I said to make the winner look good. I completely forgot I was just covering for Salem. I'm sorry. I don't know how this happened. That's okay, just keep it this way. I just remembered a friend, I've got to run this for everything. Bye-bye. Sis, first, let's clear this place out. I want to stand. Give me a nice crazy rat. I want my gravy. Hey, look, it's a rat. Oh, my, cockroaches. Okay, everybody, karaoke, sing along. Well, let's see if we can get this place cleaned up before. What has happened to my... 
Archduchess Hilda, what did you do? Actually, Sir Alvin, it was my fault. Hilda was trying to be a good manager and I didn't support her as I should have. No, it's my fault. I got carried away. I shouldn't have let being Archduchess go to my head. No, I was jealous. No, I was out of control. It's both your faults. You're both demoted to sub-peasant level. Sub-peasant? What could be lower than being a peasant? Tell me again. Oh, why are we doing this? Just 542 more paychecks and we'll have a car. At least we're in it together. Yep, at least we are. Hey, how come I'm the backside? I want to be the head. Here we go again. I just wanted to say I'm sorry for getting a swelled head and ignoring my best friend, Salem, and that he is the smartest, most clever, handsomest cat of all. Cut! You forgot to say charming. Sorry. Let's take it again from the top. Just the way I wrote it, no ad-libbing. And let's see some emotion. <laughs> 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 Dad, 